From 630 AD, Muslim Arabs invaded the Middle East. The Nestorians had been oppressed by the Persians as the Syriacs by the Roman Byzantines. They welcomed the arrival of the Arabs, who rapidly established an empire which extended from India to Spain. The Nestorians and Syriacs knew the Arabs well. For centuries there were numerous churches in Arabia and many Arab tribes were Christian. This Islam which recognized Jesus and the prophets did not frighten them. Peace reigned in the region and prosperity returned for all. For centuries the majority of the population of the Middle East remained Christian and continued to speak their language Aramaic freely. At Damascus, the first capital of this Arab empire, the Mosque of Omeyyad illustrates the meeting of these cultures. On this site, there first stood a temple to the Aramean god Hadad. Then the Romans transformed it into a temple for Jupiter. At the end of the fourth century AD, the temple became a church dedicated to Saint John the Baptist. When the Muslims arrived in 636 AD, the Christians shared this place of worship with them. Their collaboration was so close that Christian artisans were often known to build and decorate Muslim monuments. It was only in 705 AD that this church was finally transformed into a mosque. Slowly, Islam and the Arabic language prevailed. To speak Aramaic became synonymous with being a Christian. In 750 AD, a new dynasty, the Abbasids, took power and founded Baghdad on the Tigris. A great library was constructed which gathered together all the written knowledge of the time. It was visited by students from every country and of every religion. Towns like Samara, with its famous spiral minaret, were built everywhere. It was the golden age of the Arab Muslim civilization, where Muslims and Christians lived side by side. The Nestorians and Syriacs had knowledge of the ancient cultures and undertook the phenomenal work of translating texts from Greek to Aramaic, then to Arabic. It is thanks to them that the philosophy, mathematics and medicine of the Greeks were not lost. This knowledge was brought to the West by Spanish Muslims three centuries later. The reputation of these Christians was such that the doctors of the caliphs were often Nestorian. From the first centuries AD, the Church of Mesopotamia was invested with a mission to spread the Christian message throughout the world. From the beginning, they moved toward the countries on the Asian continent. They left from the Eastern Mediterranean and spread the Christian message to Persia, Central Asia, Tibet, India, and China. By the 10th and 11th centuries, this church counted more than 60 million followers. It was the biggest church in the world, and I would say, the most important. Many Chinese, Indian and Mongolian bishops and priests owed obedience to the Patriarch of the Church in Baghdad, a church which, at that time, was very prosperous. In 1623, the Jesuits discovered to their amazement that they were not the first Christians to enter China. At Xianfu, they found a stele written in Chinese and in Aramaic, proof that Nestorian monks were present in the country since the 7th century AD.
However, in 1258, the Mongols swept through Baghdad, massacring the Muslims and destroying the town. The contents of the great library were thrown into the Tigris. The Arab civilization crumbled. Because of ancient links established with the Mongol chiefs, the Christians were spared. The work in relief on the Syriac monastery of Mar Benham in northern Iraq dates from this period. Mongol monarchs came to bow down before the tomb of St. Benham, where there is a Turco-Mongol inscription which reads, that the peace of St. Benham, friend of God, comes down and rests on the Khan, his elders, and his wives. The Nestorian patriarch was himself an Asian and believed that Nestorianism would become the official religion of the empire. But, in the end, the Mongols opted for Islam, thus putting an end to the hopes of the Arameans. At the end of the 14th century, Tamerlan, a fanatic Muslim from Central Asia, swept through Mesopotamia and massacred the Christians. The Nestorians escaped to the mountains, the home of the Kurds. <laughs>